Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I ended up doing uh, unboxing of car shop lures that I end up getting in the mail. And I did get a whole bunch of, um, a bunch of lures and uh, a bunch of accessories as well, where I end up putting it into my tackle box. I wanted to show you what do I have inside my tackle box before I end up putting all the new stuff in. So here's my tackle box right here. And, um, what I'm gonna show you this is what I have in now and what I've been using recently opposed to what I'm about to put inside. So this is my tackle box right now. Just unlatch that. And then flip that puppy up. So on the top, obviously we don't have anything. And uh, the only thing I have is this oh this spring. This right here for my hair, just in case when I need it. Then if we look, if, as we open, yeah, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So on the second row, we have this frog bait right here. It's good for shallow water. I used this when, when we were using it on the lily pads. Um, it did help a lot here and there. Um, would I use it again? I will later on. Then I had some extra bait right over here. This is the horny toad that I used on my first video that I recorded right by the pond, right on the pond. And uh, of course I have the packaging right, let me put that right there. Packaging, I believe it was this one right here. So this is what I used um, to catch that. This is what I used to catch that sea bass. See, it was super salt plus horny toad, watermelon seed. and. Of course, I bought it from Zoom. So yeah, that's what they all are right there. So that's exactly what I used that day. Um, I have extra set of hooks here. I have this hook right here that I normally use for um, like worms, sinkos, and all that kind of stuff. I only have one more left, sadly. Well, not, not entirely. Not entirely, I still have a whole packet right here. Yep, right there, I have it right there. Um, I've been losing these on the day of the um, uh, day on the trip uh, at the pond, I've been losing them left and right because of, of course, the uh, the lily pads. Then I have this chatterbait right here, or something like that. So, yeah, that's what I try to use too. On the pond, it didn't work as as planned because um, it didn't work as well as I thought it would. Uh, it it didn't catch any bites whatsoever. So I gave up on it. And then I have this one right here. Is, I believe it's a size two, I believe. I don't know, I lost the packaging. But it comes with this spring right here. And this is the this is the hook that I normally would use for the horny toad. I would use it for my lizard, which is what I have right here. Again, same brand, just a lizard, watermelon seed. And I've used this one as well. And of course, this one has, um, I've had good odds with this one as well. So, the appendages move really well in the water too, so that's exactly why I like it. Right here, size one hook. I had six of them, but I kept losing them left and right. So yeah, I use this one for, you know, whatever I use for catfish and all that kind of extra stuff. But right back here, I have these little weights. So these little weights, I have these whenever I already rigged up my bait, I would uh, usually put these on the line and instead of just removing the whole bait, like using this bullet weight for an example, instead of using this bullet weight, I would use this to clamp it on onto the line using needle nose pliers like this one and then, uh, oh, well, hold on, let me show you an example. So with this, so with this, because I have this, I would use the needle nose pliers. I would grab it on to the very back where I would meet up, and I would just press on to the top right here. I would just press onto it, onto the line, and it'll lock up. It'll lock itself up. And the harder you press, the better, because then it doesn't move back and forth uh, on the line. And whenever I want to remove it, or whenever I want to reuse it, I just press onto this back part and it opens back up. So it's very, very versatile. 
Um, I don't end up losing so much. Uh, it's also very cheap as well. I have the the Carolina rig right here. Yeah, I use this once. It is, I like it. I honestly do like it a lot. So I would recommend having this as well. And then right down here on the last drawer, I have these right here. I recorded it for some other video. And I have the uh, the front part of the, the lure hooked onto my, my rod right now. So I have it hooked onto my rod right now and I don't have it with me right now. But I have this right here, which is what I would put on. That's a really good one that I would use as well. And I have this sucker right here. Uh, I almost caught a, a sea bass using this. When I was um, at the pond at the park, I used this one. And I did see so many of them circle all around it. But it looked like they weren't committing to it. So I, re I haven't really caught anything with this one yet. But I really want to give it another shot and see what I can try to get. And then I have this hook right here. It's another good hook right here that I would more likely use. Um, again... These are just all over the place. I've, I've been a little unorganized with all my hooks lately, so I need to reorganize everything again. I like using this bullet weight um, whenever I rig my baits and all that kind of stuff. So I do recommend having one of these. I do recommend having one of these on the line as well. Then, I have, I have these right here as well. I would totally cast these out whenever I'm at the... Um, I'm at a, a, a pier, or uh, you know, so uh, so I can catch more than one. I would mainly use these for bait, uh, to catch live bait, and then use it towards catfish or any other kind of fish, really. So I haven't used it yet, but I want to go ahead and just use that next time. On the very bottom, I have a working scale. Yep, that was the last fish we caught, which was a .82. So yeah, I have that, and then of course my my skill came with this as well. So we just hook it on the fish, and we just hook it on with that. Needle nose pliers. I've used it for the catfish already. That's what it looks like. That. Um, I have this multi, uh, you know, switch switch knives and all that kind of stuff. So I have this with me in case um, in case we need it for anything really. Uh, yeah. A flashlight as well. I found it very really cheap in Walmart, but it actually shoots. Re it's actually really good. 200 luminance, so it is extremely bright. Whenever we're at night, and then I have. Oh, I have another weight right here. Oh yeah, this is the one we went to go fishing uh, at the park. So this is the uh, pyramid weight. Extremely, extremely, extremely heavy. Um, I personally don't like to use this, but my friend did use this, uh, use this at the park and he had good luck with it. Of course, there's the hook, but uh, it actually bent back because it got stuck on the lily pad. But I don't normally like using this because it's extremely, extremely heavy. Not only that, you don't feel the bite, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, I have it in here and it's it's something. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty, oh, and I have a fillet knife too. <laughs> I have a fillet knife because I didn't have any knife to cut the um, cut the line when I was ever switching baits. I never had a knife for anything until I had that, but that was too weak, so I ended up bringing this along, and I would always use this one. I know it's a bit of an overkill to use, but um, that's all I had. So I'm gonna be taking that one out, and I'm gonna be replacing with one of my new stuff that I have over here that I've already opened up from the unboxing, and I don't see my knife here, but. That's going to be the new one inside the box. So again, we're going to be reorganizing everything. It won't look like this, but yeah, it definitely won't be looking like this. But we'll be reorganizing everything. I want to keep the boxes in, but I think that's going to be kind of tough to do. So we'll see how that works out.
tackle box is finally complete. Um, honestly though, it looks a lot better than what it was before, now that it's completely filled up. Here is the finished tackle box. So as you can see, I got all my stuff that I couldn't fit up there. I put them all down there. So this is the new knife that I bought. Um, comes with a little flashlight. I'm not gonna turn it on, of course, because then I have to turn it back off. So just open it like that. Yeah, it looks really nice. Super, super, super sharp. So you can see on the uh, on the uh, building of the tackle box, I um, I used the knife to cut a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the sticker. Then of course you got all my all my plastic lures. Then I got all my my suspending, my sinking, and all my floating lures right up there. And of course, you got the little stuff here and there. So the weights are up here, the hooks are up here, Carolina, the brand new hooks that are over here on the right. I really love the packaging in this one, the one that I got for my uh, unboxing. It looks really nice. I like I like the packaging a lot. So I didn't want to take it out of the take it out of the bag. I wanted to leave it on there. But yeah, this is already done. Uh, it looks completely filled up. I know I'm gonna be buying more here and there next time, and uh, I can't wait to buy more because I mean. The more, the better for me. And I know, you, I know you're not supposed to be buying way too much because you need to be spending way too much money. But I mean, what the hell? You know, I like to try new things. I like to try weird bait. The next video, the next video, what I want to do is um, instead of just me fishing regularly, I I, I want to do a fishing uh, a regular fishing video. So I'm gonna do that, and then the next one, what I really, really, really want to try, and it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very, very, very interesting. But I wanna try this, because I ended up getting this the, in the mystery box. So I, I definitely wanna try this out. I know it looks freaking crazy, it's so big. Just like these little balls inside of it. One right up here, two of them down there, right, in, right by the mouth. So it's gonna be insane. If I do end up catching anything, I'll be shocked. I'll be very, very shocked. So um, uh, keep, stay tuned. Because there's going to be more videos like this. Um, I might do more unboxing videos. I might buy a new rod and reel. I will buy a new rod and reel, actually. Because I ended up getting a rod runner. I ended up getting a rod runner that holds three rods. So I'm going to keep the one that I have in the garage. I want to get two more rods so I can carry with me. And those are already rigged up with different type of baits. So stay tuned to that. If you do have any suggestions on what kind of rods and reel I should be using... Uh, leave it in the comment down below. Uh, stay tuned to all those other videos, and I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all next time.